have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hello YouTube and thanks for checking out RV Daydream. Today I'm working on the F-250. Just like I finished off the differential cover, I'm going to the next step and I want to clean my fuel injectors. Now you can take this to a shop and have them do it and I'm not even sure what they charge for the service. Or you can buy the tool separately. I think the tool's like a hundred dollars, something like that. Or you can make this DIY thing like I did. Now if you don't know, your fuel injectors will become clogged and dirty over a period of time. And since I just got the truck, I don't know any history on it whatsoever. I don't know what it's like. It could be that this guy's run crappy gas in it all the time. I just don't know. So I'm going to rule out any problems in the future by cleaning these fuel injectors really well. Now. If you've got a newer vehicle or you've always taken care of your vehicle, you're the only owner. The high octane gases, they have detergents in them for this reason. You can also, every few tanks, put some additive in your tank to clean your fuel injectors. Um, I'm a big fan of Chevron Techron. Uh, that stuff works pretty well. Sea foam, that's always a good additive. Go ahead and throw a can in a tank full of gas. Uh, you're going to add any of these additives before you fill up so it mixes really well. But it's always nice to throw that in your tank occasionally just to give your injectors a nice good cleaning. Now in my case, I'm going to fast forward the process. I'm going to force clean the injectors by running the engine off of a fuel injection cleaning tool that I made. And let me show you what that looks like. Here's the tool. Now I haven't hooked it up yet and you can see it looks like a pipe bomb. But this is just some galvanized pipe with some ends. I've drilled the ends. I've put a fitting in this end that accepts my fuel pressure gauge hose and that runs down to the Schrader valve on the fuel rail. You can see I already took the cap off here. This is where you normally test your fuel pressure at. And then I have a fitting on the other end for an air hose and it's pretty straightforward. I mean you just hook up your air hose to it and it'll pressurize this tube. Now you have to do a couple things for this to work. Uh, one, you have to make sure that the mixture of the Berrymans that I use is only about 50-50. You gotta have gasoline and Berrymans. It won't run on just the Berryman. Also, you then have to come over here to this side and I've got to open up that box and pull the fuel pump relay so the fuel pump does not run whenever I'm trying to do this. I'm going to let the air pressure push that fuel out and through the fuel rails and run the engine off of that but the fuel pump can't be on for that because then it'll try to run off the fuel coming from the fuel pump and I'll run it until it stalls that way I know that this is completely emptied and I'll do it a few times it's always nice to do this whenever you have a vehicle that has this many miles all right so this is the can of stuff that I buy and it's called B12 chem tool fuel system cleaner and like I said right on it it talks about how you do not use in diesel engines this thing will remove paint do not spill on painted surfaces and if you pour this on plastic man it's funny how fast it will cause it to deteriorate if I had one of those red solo cups I could pour this stuff in a container and that red solo cup would melt so it's really harsh but as far as a cleaner I want harsh I want to be able to run it through right away and it doesn't hurt the injectors as long as it's running through and then of course I hook up the fuel pump afterwards and uh, run it and flushes out any solvent that may be left behind all right, the first thing I gotta do is take apart my fuel pressure gauge. Now you can see, this is a cheap, inexpensive fuel pressure gauge I got from Sun some time ago. I think I only paid about $40 for it. And I've used it for years. I've had this for, oh, I don't know, since 92, I guess it's been. So basically what it is is this fitting here that uh, goes into this T-block. Um, I'm going to unscrew the hose from that. And of course, that fitting that's right here it's the same size as the threads that go into that T-block. Then on this end is a uh, Schrader valve connector and that will screw right onto the fuel rail. So let me go ahead and assemble it, make up a mix and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so this is the importance of having your owner's manual or your uh, operator's manual. I had to order this off eBay because the truck didn't come with one. I don't know what people do with them. Mine always stays in my truck and it was in my truck when I got it. But anyways, I ordered the uh, manual and what I'm going to do is look up relays and fuses and there's a power distribution center underneath the hood that you can see here, sort of. I'll point you a little closer here in a second. 
But if I go down through here, it'll tell me that the fuel pump for a gas engine is relay number two. So let me show you what that looks like. Now all these relays are numbered one, two, three, four, five, and it's on the box here. One, two, three, four, five. Whenever this is open, it's uh, as if it was laid out flat, which you can't do. Um, everything from here is just transposed to here. Number two relay, that's this one here. I've already loosened it up with a pair of needle nose pliers so I can pull it out. Now, my fuel pump will not run. So that'll allow me to run this vehicle only on what comes out of that container right there. So I'll set this off to the side. Maybe I'll just turn it upside down here and set it in the back. Uh, that way uh, it's not in the way and I don't lose it. And I'm going to put the manual back because I don't want to lose this or get it dirty. So this thing's running on that fuel injector cleaner. That's all it's running on. That is it. So it's stalled out. Let's go ahead and turn the key off. Yeah. Now the air compressor is running to make sure it stays pressurized. I'm going to disconnect this. I turned off the air line going to this hose so it doesn't blast out. And I'm going to refill this. So I got that lid off. It was a little bit harder than I thought. It kind of stuck on there. We're going to go ahead and fill this up. Okay, so it looks like I can only get uh, two treatments out of this per can. And again, at this point, I'm going to put the fuel in there. So that's topped off. Go ahead and put this back on again. And we'll put the air hose on here. Hopefully it doesn't come out too brutally hard. I'm going to try to cover up my camera, just my wrist monitor, just in case. Yeah, it came out a little bit. Nothing crazy. Okay, so now we got it all hooked up again. Let me go ahead and turn on the air compressor. Okay, the pressure's there. Let me start it up. And you can see it's running again, so we'll let it run until it stalls again. That's so cool. And there she is purring. Now I still have a miss, so I know that my injectors are not the issue. I need to be looking at my spark plug wires, which they may be old. Just because spark plug wires look nice on the outside and you can read the letters, it doesn't mean that they're good. Uh, there might be a break or something going on there. So I'm gonna have to address that because that idle, it's a little bit rough. Now that could be the idle air control valve which is right underneath here. I can look at that at a later time. Also, whenever you mess around with fuel rails, there is a rubber gasket that's down inside here, a little O-ring, and you screwing around with opening and closing it, that kind of a thing, sometimes dislodges that or causes something that was pretty brittle to go ahead and break all the way. So you gotta be careful on older engines. Um, so I always start the engine and run it without the cap first to see if there's any leaks coming out. And it's not, it's bone dry. 
So uh, make sure at that point you put the cap back on and that will keep it protected. All right, so I got the uh, fuel injectors clean, another thing off the list, and we'll just keep on working on it and keep on going over everything to see what we can find. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you out there. Thanks, bye.